How is my YouTube family doing? Hope everybody is having a wonderful, safe day. I'm taking the YouTube family along with me to the famous M&M Snacket right by the Demerara Harbor Bridge on the east bank of Demerara to buy some cane juice and some Guyana snack. So come on down with me. I'm going over the overhead walkway here right at Petersall by the Demerara Harbor Bridge. I have never gone over one of these bridges before, but one of my very good friends is walking me there. It used to be a little snacket on the roadside. Now they have a huge big shop. So come on with me and let's go see what they have. So I guess every day they have a different lunch menu and you can see the variety of things they have today for lunch. They also have snacks every day here, our local snack like egg ball, puri, fish cake. They have salara, pine tart, cheese roll, you name it, all the Guyanese local snack. They have pinwheel and buns. They have bacon, salt fish, even doubles they have here. I see that this was something new to the menu, but a variety of stuff that you can pick from. I see a lot of parents buy things from here for the kids' lunches, and they have a variety of sweet stuff also. I see barfi, fudges, powder milk, pera, sugar cake, mitai, and all that good stuff. So whenever you're here in Guyana and you're passing by the East Bank of Demerara and you're looking for your good old Guyanese snacks and fruit juices and cane juice, this is a good place to make a one-stop, one-shop. On my way back, I went to support one of the locals and he had some nice chicken foot, well and flavorful, some cassava chip, plantain chip, coconut biscuit, some fried chana, and I had to get some of these. These are some amazing crunchy snack as well. And then we made a stop at the famous black pudding, white pudding, South Lady, and she have a variety of Guyana snack here. If you pass on the Providence, right by the Peter's All on the public road. She is right out there and she have all kinds of goodies. She is friendly, she's a nice person. She served with a smile and let me tell you, the sour to go with these things is delicious, mouth-watering and amazing. Tell them your name. <laughs> Denny's, Auntie Denny's. Auntie Denny's and they can find you what you want. Is all. You have a phone number? 679 Okay. When I came back, my niece prepared me a mouth watering five finger. So I'm having some five finger with pepper sauce, salt, and vinegar. And this bite goes for all you guys who didn't have five finger pickle for a long time. Cheers. Pepper. It's nice and juicy and very flavorful. Whenever I visit Guyana, I take advantage of all the fresh food, fruits, snacks, everything that I can get. This sugar apple came from my mom's tree and it was so delicious and juicy. So every night when we go to bed, my niece will use the mosquito zapper to kill all the mosquito in the room because my mom always open her doors and windows during the day and the mosquitoes come in easily like that. And Hannah would make sure that she get all of them before we go to bed. I like when I'm in Guyana because we have a netting over the bed. So that reminds me so much of my childhood days growing up in Guyana with the netting at night. Those who remember sleeping with a netting at night, please leave in a comment and let me know. Look at this girl, how she's trying to get all the mosquitoes. I love when I go back home because I get to spend time with my nieces. I get to do fun stuff with them. We laugh, we will joke around. Hannah is such a good company. She can stay up late at night. Sometimes she would talk with me until I fall asleep. In Guyana, you can get everything now right at your doorstep to buy. 
The broom lady was passing by and she's selling pointer broom. Big shout out to some of my YouTube fans, uh, the Samaru family. I met them on the plane while traveling to Guyana. Another little fan, Aaron, big shout out to you. He always support me on YouTube and I was able to go with him to church on one night. Big shout out to Brandon, who is my cousin son. Big shout out to Talia, my sweet little smart Talia, and a whole lot of my cousins and relative here who always support me. Big shout out to them all, my aunts, sister-in-law, my mom, sister. Big shout out to each and every one of you. Big shout out to Diane. This trip to Guyana for me this time was more about spending time with family. I didn't do much traveling but the time i spent with family was very precious uh, my dad had all his siblings here and for me family time is very precious we don't always get to do this so when i get this opportunity i always take full advantage of it life is short and for me i like to cherish every moment every moment is a special one to me I also get to spend some time with some of my YouTube and Facebook supporters who are also relatives and they were visiting Guyana at the same time from Canada. So it was a very, very beautiful trip that I met so many people along the way. I had to share a picture of this Saijan or Moringa tree. Check out how loaded it is. And believe it or not, my sister have a dragon fruit plant in Guyana. And these are some of the things I look forward to when I come to Guyana. I had some KFC fried chicken for you guys. I had some nice dongs that my niece brought home for me one day. The green ones and some of the ripe ones as well. For those who never had dongs before, this is what it looks like. And I have one pit or seed inside. Did you guys remember the Bobby chocolate when you were growing up? These are very nice as well. They're Trinidadian snack, but we have them in Guyana. Some chicken foot, some fried chana, big foot. These are all snacks we used to have in Guyana. And of course, I got to have some Chinese food. And I had some chicken fried rice with all the trimmings on the side. With the hot, hot Chinese pepper, it went down very nice. I had monkey apple. I don't know where my brother-in-law find two from, but I enjoyed it. And one of my very good friends came to visit me, Rosanna Puran Mall. I was very, very happy to see her after 20-something years. Thank you all so much for your love and support and allowing me to share my visit to Guyana with you all. Sending hugs, love, and kisses. May God bless you and your family. Take care and stay tuned for more Guyana videos to come.